Hey everybody, Brian Zane here. It's been a while, but I'm back here with a viewer mailbag, and this is the, quite possibly the biggest mailbag yet. Not necessarily in terms of quantity of items, but literally the size of the stuff I got in the mail this time around. Uh, Y'all didn't kid around this time. I've got some big boxes. So some you can't even see because they're out of frame here. I got one right here in front of me, a bigger one that's on the floor I have to make room for. Clearly, the viewers have put a lot more stock in the actual physical items being sent instead of just letters. I got a couple of this time around. I'm gonna open these smaller envelopes first. Daryl from Cortland, New York has written back once again. He's asking here what YouTubers I like. Honestly, there's not a lot of other YouTubers I follow and it's just kind of an issue of I'm so busy with my own work. I don't really have time, honestly, to sit down and just like enjoy other YouTubers uh, in their natural habitat. I do like a lot of the other wrestling YouTubers out there. I'm a big fan, you know, Cultaholic and Wrestle Talk and Steven Larson in particular. Uh, Dave knows wrestling is a great guy. As far as like non-wrestling YouTubers, I love the Try Guys. My wife got me into the Try Guys a long time ago when they were still with BuzzFeed before they started their own channel. And I love their stuff uh, for the most part. I actually have their book. I'm also a big fan of Matt Pat and his theory videos. You know, food theory, game theory, movie theory. They're all so, so smart and so well done and so articulate. And again, the production and the animation that he incorporates in those videos is just top notch. What could be inside? It looks like a picture. This is great. Salvador actually sent me a picture of us at WrestleCon a couple of years ago in New York City. And I love the story behind this. He even mentions it in the letter. This is a picture that Frankie Kazarian took for us because SCU was at the table next to us at the convention. And like without thinking, and we go, oh, Kaz, can you please take this picture for us? <laughs> Taking the picture for us, flipping us off behind the camera while he's doing it. It was just really funny. And Salvador wants to plug something here. He's got a YouTube channel called The Canvas Assembly. Assassin, a name he actually stole from EA Sports Fight Night Round 2, and no one seems to have noticed. Well, the truth is out now. All right, time now to open the packages, and trust me, you'll see some big ones in a few minutes. But this first one comes from Mac in Orland Park, Florida. All right, so Mac got me a copy of Jerry Lawler's autobiography, It's Good to Be the King Sometimes. Spoilers, it's not really a book, but it's phenomenal. Oh, okay. This is not a book? Hang on. What is this? What is it? Oh, God! It's not... <laughs> I was legitimately surprised by this. I've, I've never actually seen a book cut out like this before in real life. I've only seen it in like cartoons and movies. I was excited to read Jerry Lawler's book. And now I realize it's a gag and it's got AJ Styles antibacterial wipes. This is truly phenomenal. All right, here's our first big box of the video. This one comes to us from Christopher in Yonkers, New York, the home of Tommy Dreamer and Christopher, my contribution to the mailbag is a WWE Shop Undisputed title replica. Whoa, for real? Hold up, let me look for this. Where is it? Oh God, let me get it. No, oh, it's in here. Whoa, whoa, are you kidding me? Oh my God, this thing weighs a ton. Whoa, look at this. Oh my God, my favorite championship belt is here in the flesh and it weighs almost as much as I do. What the heck? Now he got this for me because in back in my favorite belt countdown, I listed this as number one and he says, good taste. I was able to attain my replica a while back and thought the fact you don't have one is a missed opportunity. Like that's amazing. And I saw the postage on this. I know that wasn't cheap. So thank you very much, Chris. I've got, I'm gonna get you something real cool in exchange. Thank you very much. This means a lot to me. You don't have, you have no idea. Get out of here, hardcore title. There's a nude papa in town. Okay, a little palate cleanser. We got something from One Hour Tees. This is a shirt from Sean Phoenix, who is an independent wrestler. And uh, isn't it appropriate that I'm wearing the Insane Clown Posse for the Hall of Fame t-shirt? And then he sends me this shirt, which is inspired by the amazing Jekyll Brothers. First off, we've got this really interesting, this is like the mutant. This is the mutant Finn Balor action figure. He has some weird like red veins coming out of his hands and teeth on his knees. He's very, he's very spooky. Oh uh, man, I wonder if we're gonna get that coming back because I feel that's a lot of money left on the table of Finn Balor not doing the Demon King thing anymore. Our hottest photo picks, page after page of amazing divas, a CM Punk, Trading card, top uh, top 10 World Heavyweight Champions. He's number eight, apparently. Ooh, this is interesting. American Angels, Baptism of Blood. Is this porn? I don't know. <laughs> Luscious Lisa, the baby angel, and oh, what a babe. And more gorgeous angels ready to throw you down. I once thought that it was the worst ever until I saw some of the doozies you've reviewed. Oh boy. If you think this is bad enough to review, I'm, I'm more than game to watch it. Interesting, interesting, interesting rap job here. You got the, the masking tape and what looks to be a uh, 
An old garment bag of some sorts. Read the note first before showing off the goods. Whoops! I know you said you're not much of a comic book dude, but I thought you'd like to have this Undertaker comic book from Boom Studios. Plus, I got you an El Phantasmo shirt size large. You know, the first time I ever saw El Phantasmo when I was in England a couple of years ago, and he was part of the uh, Super British J, or the British J Cup. And look at this, on the back of the shirt, it even says back to back, and it talks about his Super J Cup victories from 2019 and 2020. So, very appropriate. Who inspired you to be both an internet critic and wrestling manager. Well, as far as being a wrestling manager, my biggest influences, like I mentioned, are guys like Paul Heyman and Jim Cornette, and I guess to a lesser extent, Jimmy Hart, the more I watch his older stuff and I realize, oh, I've kind of like, I've got a, got a style very similar to his. One of my biggest influences for this channel was the Nostalgia Critic and like Angry Video Game Nerd, those kind of guys, and also like R.D. Reynolds and Blade Braxton, uh, rest in peace, over at WrestleCrap.com. Uh, those are my, probably my three biggest influences in terms of what made this channel channel what it is right now. How'd you come up with the Wrestling With Regret Championship belt and how much did it cost to make it? Well, uh, that's a trade secret. I'm not going to tell you how much it cost, but it did cost a pretty penny. As far as like what inspired me, or what inspired the design, I was actually looking through because I was having a hard time like visualizing what styles and what designs I wanted, but I know I wanted a belt from Wildcat. I looked through a lot of their older, uh, their, their gallery of previously done belts and I saw a couple elements from a couple of different designs I really liked uh, and so I decided to kind of do like kind of a mishmash of them and that's how I got the design that I currently have and then he wants to know my thoughts on Dark Side of the Ring I actually uh, caught up on this season of Dark Side uh, just this past weekend in fact and one thing I'll notice is first of all the production is great still and the stories they tell are quite fascinating I learned a lot from each of these episodes I'm watching also is is it me if you guys have watched this let me know it feels like the score the music for this this season has gotten way out of control it's just like all over the place the music it's like a bit much what <laughs> Oh my god, I heard about this. I heard the legend. I heard that strong bad plushies were for sale, and I, I I can't believe I actually have one. You know, you know I'm all about that strong bad and that eight star R. Big fan of Homestar Runner since high school. And I think it's so cool they're still making merchandise and they're kind of like, you know, they're 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 reaping on the nostalgia that people like me still have for this thing. I said consummate beast, consummate! This is awesome. You know what's funny? I'm actually trying to get my kids in a Homestar Runner now because of the bright colors and the funny jokes and everything and the funny characters. So it's going to be great to share this with my kid as well. And there's no name on this, unfortunately. I don't know who sent this to me. But sir or madam, thank you very much for sending this. I really appreciate it. Looks like I'm going to have to jump. What on earth? Oh, what? What is this? Oh, what? 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 <laughs> It's a Brian Zane wrestling buddy. Holy shit. This is from brothersgador.com and they do a whole bunch of paintings and murals and logos and custom wrestling buddies and that's exactly what this is. This is at once awesome and horrifying. I'm just gonna say it right now. I've always wanted to know what I look like without a neck. And he's got the belt. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it! You cannot unsee it now! I'm going to sneak this into bed with me at night and it's gonna go right next to my wife's head and she's gonna wake up and see this! It's gonna be great! Okay, we're coming up on the end of this thing. This is the penultimate package. This comes to us from friend of the show, Cindy Seidelman. Let's see what she has brought us from the state of Washington. An Impact Wrestling... What is this? This is some kind of wristband? Is this supposed to be some kind of like ionic like pain reliever thing. I could use that because my neck is killing me all the time. A TNA Jeff Hardy coloring book. It's like a whole grab bag of TNA stuff in here. This is like a tote bag. Whoa, okay. Don't you want this staring down from you at your bedroom ceiling at night? We got another TNA flag. This one is of Madison Rain. Wow. A giant Kevin Owens action figure. Who is this? Oh, this is a very uh, emaciated looking Lex Luger action figure here. He's he's definitely uh, cutting weight at this point in his career. It's crazy. Well, my good friend Darren Corbin actually just wrestled Scott Steiner uh, this week, so funny coincidence this. Oh my goodness, this is the Nitro card game. Wow, Cindy, you collected all these Nitro trading cards. All right, I'm gonna actually show some never before seen footage that I filmed a year or two ago with my friend Chris where we actually tried playing this game, this WCW Nitro trading card game so you can get an idea of what it looks like. But yeah, I, I actually wanna try and get back into this. And now that I have all these cards, I think I'm gonna try and do that. So Cindy, thank you very much. Ugh. This is the last box 
of the thing. I told you this is the biggest mailbag yet, and I wasn't kidding around. What? 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 All right, this comes to us from the Wrestling Makes You Think podcast. I'd love to hear the letter that rationalizes all this. A non-Sasha Banks monster truck to stand up to your many Banks mobiles and a handicap match. More old-timey writing utensils. Oh my God, Attitude Era pencils. Muscles back in WWE form. Wow, I didn't realize that WWE had put out like uh, muscle figurines, the old kind of like the Japanese muscle figurines you got from the vending machines and stuff, which then inspired Ultimate Muscle. Why does the beard glow? And finally, the second most useless fishing paraphernalia you'll ever receive in this segment, a giant bobber cooler. All right, one more package to open. I just grabbed this from the mailbox today before I finished editing, and this one comes from Martin in Wisconsin, longtime Patreon backer. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, Stone Cold Metal. I remember them advertising this CD. I love this holographic cover here with Austin and the skull. It's a selection of metal tracks handpicked by the rattlesnake himself. I can't wait to listen to this. And then the videos ramped up. Oh, it's a Titan Tron collection. I, I love this. I always loved Titan Trons growing up, so I think it's gonna be really cool to watch. Well, folks, I don't know what I did to deserve all this awesome stuff. Like, such cool, funny, creative gifts from the, my wonderful fans and viewers. I'm still getting over the Jerry Lawler gag book from earlier, to be honest. Thank you all so much for this. I apologize because I know the videos, the mailbags, have been a little less frequent coming out every time, and that has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, honestly, it's been a bit of a slowdown. I had to wait a while to make sure I had enough stuff for this mailbag, and uh, you know what? Basically, I'll keep doing these as long as I keep getting stuff. Uh, whether you want to send me things or not, it's totally up to you. I'm not going to be begging for stuff, uh, but you, if you want to send things, absolutely, please do. I want to see. This is the most wild and unpredictable mailbag I've had yet. It's going to be hard to top this one, but if you think you can, if you want to send me stuff to read or open on, on camera, send it to Brian Zane at 316 California Avenue, number 53, Reno, Nevada, 89509. Who's gonna top, how, how are you gonna top this face? Ooh, ooh, is it plushy Brian Zane with no neck? But until then folks, I'm Brian Zane and I'll see you next time.